Today I've got another book review for you and also I want to show you what happened when somebody followed my recommendations and made some changes to their book. Take a look at this video. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And if that sounds interesting to you, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this. So today I've got another book review for you, but before I start, I just want to show you what happened to one of the books that I reviewed previously. I don't know if you remember, but we had this 200 page storyboard pad and I reviewed it not so long ago and some of the recommendations I made were to change the cover and maybe to have less pages because this is a 200 page storyboard pad and that way they could then decrease the price of it. So I had a really lovely email from the author to say that he followed my recommendations and he changed the cover. So I show you what the cover looks like now. So he changed the cover of this book, made it less pages, so now it's only 120 pages, and that enabled him to change the price and make it cheaper. And the good news is he says that he's already had a sale. So it went live around Christmas and he had a sale shortly after that. So that kind of shows you that with a little bit of tweaking, with a little bit of improvement, you can have sales on books that maybe weren't selling so well before. So this is why it's a good idea to keep looking at your books, to review them and to make changes if you feel that it will help sales of your book. So I think that is really nice. I think the cover looks great now. I really like this. And compared to the old cover, you can see straight away that this is to do with filmmaking. So I think this is really fantastic. Well done to the author. And I hope he gets many more sales. So let's start with today's review. And today we're reviewing this book, which is my first stamp collection book. So first of all, the title is great. My first stamp collection book. It tells you kind of what this book is about, but it's it's a good title for a book. And then the subtitle is Stamp Collecting Album for Kids, Blank Stamp Book 8x10. Good subtitle because it tells you exactly who this is for. It's for kids what this is about. So it really explains what this book stands for. So that's what I like to see in a subtitle. The title is the name of the book, whatever you want to give it. And the subtitle explains what the book is about. And I think in this case, it's doing that very well. And also very good. It says blank stamp book. 8 by 10. Normally I, I say don't put the sizes here because you have the sizes in the product details and Amazon's terms uh, or guidelines say not to put the sizes in the titles but I think in this case you can get away with it and it shows that it's quite a, a large book which is handy. So let's have a look at the cover. Now it says my first stamp collection book. I can't see anything wrong with it as such. The only thing maybe this doesn't look very much like a stamp. I think in terms of um, images you could have maybe created something that looks more like a stamp. This looks kind of like a sticker. Um, I know it's got the stamp like edges but I don't know. I think it's a nice image but it, it could be more stamp related possibly and I'm not too keen on the font although it suggests it's a juvenile or childlike font which is good in this case because it is a book aimed at children. I'm not too sure about it but it's okay. I think again this is one of those things that falls under everybody's opinion or everybody's preference. It, it boils down to taste. In my opinion, I would have maybe chosen a different font, 
but it's fine. You know, you're targeting children. So in that sense, it's not a bad font to choose. Just personally, I would have preferred maybe something a little bit different, something that stands out a little bit more. The author name, Juvenile Stamps Publishing, I think that's okay. I know that Amazon now prefers author names to be real names, but it does sound like a brand name, so I think that's fine, and I think you can get away with that. You have got a keyword in there, which is stamps. Going forward, I would avoid this kind of author name. I would not use any keywords in that um, going forward, but it's done now. And I think, I don't think you've got anything to worry about, but I'm just thinking ahead for the future. It might be better to just use a person's name as the author, and that way you can never get into trouble. So let's have a look at the look inside feature. Now, I haven't looked at it yet, but my first sort of worry now is how do you make a stamp collection book into a paperback book? Because I remember when I used to collect stamps, I had special stamp collecting books and they have like little pockets inside where you can slide the stamp in because you don't want to stick any stamps anywhere because they have to be like undamaged and they you can't stick them in something. That's how I used to do it. I don't know whether things have changed, but this is my worry now that I imagine that the only way you're going to collect stamps is by sticking them into the book. Let's have a look at the description. My first stamp collection book for kids, boys and girls. Um, if you're saying boys and girls, you don't have to put kids in. Um, so it would be my first stamp collection book for kids or my first stamp collection book for boys and girls. This book is the perfect gift for stamp collection beginner for a stamp collection beginner they can have much fun while organizing their stamps it is suitable for boys girls children teens for toddler and even for adults i'm not sure what a toddler would do with stamps so <laughs> i don't think you can really target toddlers for stamp collecting stamp collecting is quite um an advanced hobby you have to be quite knowledgeable about stamps I'm not sure toddlers would even know I think even for children it would be uh, maybe not an easy hobby to have unless they're just collecting them for the colorful stamps and for the look of them and maybe just as a as a beginning into stamp collecting but I would definitely not include toddlers um, I'm not sure for adults I don't think this is really targeted at, at adults. And I think this is what people do wrong a lot of times. People create books and then they want to target as many people as possible. And that is a mistake. It's better to niche to a particular group of people. So target this at children, not at adults, definitely not at everybody. I think when you target everybody, you're not targeting anybody really. So that's my advice. Decide who you want to target with this book. And then it's got the book details, large size, 8 by 10 inches for collection and organizing stamps, maybe for collecting and organizing stamps. And blank pages, total 80 pages, matte premium cover design, easy to use and funny to keep and collect stamps. I'm not quite sure why it's funny. I think maybe you mean fun, fun to keep and collect stamps, not funny, <laughs> because I don't think it's it's funny in the sense that, yeah, you know, th that's the wrong word to use. But so I think you can improve your description a little bit and I would niche it to either children or adults, one or the other. But judging by the cover, I would just niche it at children or target children but not toddlers they're too little to do anything with this so let's have a look at in at the inside so it says my first stamp collection book stamp name date collected country ah okay so i think you have to actually um, stick the stamp into the book so I think this is really 
for children if they're interested in just ordinary stamps and just you know it's not it's not a stamp collection book that you um you do for the value of it because otherwise you wouldn't be able to stick the stamp in here that's what i was worried about but as it's for children i think you can probably get away with this and it's probably okay i don't think that a stamp collecting book is something that you can easily do on kdp personally i wouldn't do a book like this because when you're stamp collecting you're not really sticking any stamps in the book they have to have little pockets for the stamps to sit in the books undamaged and once you start sticking a stamp into the book it loses its value and then it's not good so for children yes it's okay if they just want to stick a stamp in there and maybe as you have um, made this interior here stamp name date collected country and notes so this is quite nice to just collect stamps for a child who just wants to maybe um, have a look at stamps and see what they look like and make notes i've noticed you've got color in this interior so i hope you didn't pay for the color interior i would make this grayscale before you publish it because otherwise people might see this and they think they're getting a color interior and they're not and that is just a, a good reason for someone to leave a bad review <laughs> so you want to avoid that if you're making a black and white book make sure that your your pdf when you upload it is in grayscale and it's black and white and that there's no color unless you pay for color interiors but i don't think it would be worth in this case and actually let's talk about price so you've priced it at 689 dollars which is quite good so i imagine it is a black and white interior how many pages have you got 81 pages so it's not too thick that i think that's fine and the best thing to do is to really have a look at other similar books and see what they do so let's have a look here customers who viewed this item also viewed and then we've got um let's have a look at this one here so this is a first stamp album for beginners um i imagine they have to stick the stamps in this as well so this one is different because obviously it explains in great detail how you collect stamps and how you identify them so this is this is on a different level this is a little bit uh, more like a traditional stamp collecting book um, let's have a look stamp collecting album for kids this is more like what we're looking at so let's see what they've done this stamp collection book belongs to that's a nice first page and they've done a very similar book to yours so yes i think i think we can make books like that um, for children and let's see what they have as a bsr i don't think they've made any sales yet so i don't know how popular these things are um we can find out let's have a look at the score so we put in stamp collecting album for kids let's have a look and see what that tells us so i'm waiting for the niche score to load here right so it's giving us a score of 29 percent for these keywords so again i'm not quite sure i mean this one has quite a lot of reviews but then this is a completely different type of book um I'm not quite sure how good this niche is so I do wish you luck with this book but personally I don't know if I would have made a book for this niche but I think it's worth a try and I think you made a good job of the interior I quite like this it's very simple but sometimes the most simplest things are the best I would have maybe taken care with this little image here that it doesn't go um, that it maybe goes over the line rather than being covered by the line but they're just small small details but sometimes the small details make a big difference so i think the interior is great the cover's okay and i think the niche i'm not sure about the niche but that is something that you can try you know even if a, a niche isn't great it's sometimes still worth having a book in it and trying it out so all in all my recommendations for this one would be to maybe change this 
image and make it more like stamps like um, a stamp related image for example if you have a look at these books down here you can definitely see they are stamps so you can see that these have got stamps on the cover and it's just because this one doesn't look like a stamp to me but you know it's still a nice looking book I don't really have too much to criticize about it I would just say work on your description that needs a little bit of work but the rest seems okay to me so I hope that has helped and I hope that my recommendations are helping everybody when you're looking at these videos I think that you can always apply the same sort of recommendations to your own books and all that I have left to say today is we're coming to the end of the year. Today is the last day. So I wish you all the best for the coming year 2021. I hope it is better for us than 2020 has been. I don't know about you. How was 2020 for you? For me, it has been a strange year, but not really that bad. I'm one of the lucky ones. I think as long as we are all healthy, that is the main thing and everything else can be fixed <laughs> so i hope you have a really good 2021 and i wish you all the best and i'll see you in my next video bye bye